Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. As you... Keelan Cole with his third touchdown. Ah! Ah! Defender Josh Norman to his backside. <laughs> Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Pulp Fantasy. I am Scott Rainier. You can find me mostly on Twitter at MunderDifflinFF. And as always now, at least, I'm joined by my co-host. Why don't you introduce yourself again in case people haven't seen this in a while? Hello, I am Trash Sandwiches. Excited to be here talking about what's happened the last few weeks in football. Um, Pulp Fantasy is part of the in-between media family. If you like these videos you can like and subscribe on youtube and find us on other social media channels so um as we're going to be doing each episode now we're going to kind of rehash our fantasy success or lack thereof uh since our last episode so we'll start with you trash how has your fantasy season been going specific specifically maybe week six yeah i'm getting hit hard by injuries right now but we're hanging in there we're doing it. We can win it still. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? I've heard worse. You liar. Come on, you pansy. <laughs> 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 Victory is mine. We thank thee, Lord, that in thy mercy. Oh. Come on, then. What? How at you? <laughs> you are indeed brave tonight, but the fight is mine. Oh, had enough, eh? Look, you stupid bastard, you've got no arms left. Yes, I have. Look! It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Look, stop that. Chicken. Chicken! Look, I'll have your leg. Right! <laughs> Right, I'll do you for that. You what? Come here. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? I'm invincible. You're a loony. The Black Knight always triumphed. How about you? Come on then. All right. We we'll call it a draw. Come, Patsy. Oh, oh, I see. Running away, eh? You yellow bastard! Come back here and take what's coming to you! I'll bite your legs off! Scott, how are your teams doing? Well, if you do follow me on Twitter, I've been doing a lot of whining so far this season. Brutal, brutal start to the season. But, week six, my fortunes seem to have turned. <laughs> Is the wrong approach. We're going to talk about some of the big touchdowns that have been in week six, starting with a really exciting touchdown from a Jacksonville running back. Finally, it's got to be Travis Etienne. It was not. Well, all right, fine. Then James Robinson scored. Got to love it. Wrong again. It was Jamichael Hasty. One, two, three. I got it from here. Yeah! Get up! Get up! Turn around! <laughs> and also, another exciting touchdown during week six, came from a New York Jets wide receiver. Oh, I love Garrett Wilson. No, good guess, but not Garrett Wilson. Elijah Moore, that would be fun. It was not Elijah Moore. It was Braxton Berrios. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can... And it will be used against you in a court of law. Thanks, guys. I got it from there. And we had a fun score from an Atlanta tight end. Kyle Pitts, my man, finally. Oh, uh, the one we're talking about is Michael Pruitt. Get my pretty stop! Uh, you made us run up ten flights of stairs. It's over. Thanks, guys. I got from here. And last but not least, a very long touchdown run from a New Orleans Saints player. Oh, Taysom Hill. He's got that dog in him. No, it wasn't Taysom Hill. Alvin Kamara. 
You would think it would be Alvin Kamara, but no, it was Rashid Shahid, or according to ESPN, unknown player. The Bulls are coming. We need more time. Someone do something. I got it. Tear gas. Joy, Joy, wrap my shirt around your face. And out of the tear gas rises the phoenix. <laughs> I got it from here. And I should mention that we did actually get a touchdown from the other Atlanta tight end, Kyle Pitts. Yeah! <laughs> so this is a first for Pulp Fantasy. Um, you know me. I'm I'm mostly a numbers guy, analytics guy, data guy. Not I love watching football, obviously, but I'm not a big film analysis guy. But I want to I want to try it out. And I figured this was a great place to start that process. So I'm going to take a look at a very specific play from week six. Um, it's a play where I think there's more to it than what the box score will show. So this score, sorry, this play occurred in Sunday night football between the Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles. And it was a running play by Eagles running back Miles Sanders. So I'm going to show you the clip first, and then I'm going to break down my interpretation of what was happening and what we might glean from this. Hey, how about if you get a little taste of Landon Dickerson? Coming right down your throat. Damn! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Holy Mary, Mother of God! Oh my 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 God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Thursday night football matchups this year have been really awful. Uh, painful, almost unwatchable. Everybody keeps saying, just wait until it's off season and there's no football and look how much we're going to miss this. And I'm not totally convinced. It's bad. But I am hoping that these matchups get a little bit better and we get some good Thursday night football games in the coming weeks. So I am going to uh, consult the ancient art of reading tea leaves and see if we are going to get some better games in store. So let me just take a look. I think I need a little bit of help. Look at the cup. Tap what see. Oh, yeah. Um, well, Harry's got sort of a wonky cross. That's trials and suffering. Mm -hmm. And uh, that there could be the sun, and that's happiness. So uh, you're going to suffer, mm -hmm. but you're going to be happy about it. Give me the cup. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Oh, my dear boy. My dear. You have the grim. Another first for Pope Fantasy. If you've watched long enough... Lots of firsts, exclusive videos, exclusive interviews, locker room footage, all that kind of stuff. Totally real. All of it. Well, this is also totally real. A movie trailer. An exclusive movie trailer. No one has seen this trailer yet for this upcoming movie. I'm not going to give away the name. Dramatic thriller, kind of a horror genre movie. Um, anyway, I have, like I said, I've been given permission to show you this trailer. So here you go. Hey, you want to uh, split this Subway sandwich? It is my signature sandwich. It's called the Danger Witch, and it's dangerously good. You gotta love crab. Be careful, though. It's spicy. Pretty well-made fire, huh, oh, Wilson? Or if you were a dentist. Dr. Wilson. You ever done anything dangerous? I have made fire! Oh, jeez. That is dangerous. I've done something like that, too. Listen, one time, uh, never mind, that's too dangerous. Do you have to keep bringing that up, can't you? Just forget it. Anyways, my danger witch, it's only in the vault. And what is your point? Did that thought ever cross your brain? Well, regardless, I would rather take my chance out there on the ocean than to stay here and die on this shithole island, spending the rest of my life talking to a goddamn Bible! I know you. I know you. So, we'll 
Okay. That's our little secret. The Carolina Panthers are a football team, <laughs> and uh, that's about all you can say. They've been doing a lot of moves. They fired Matt Rule. They've had injuries to their quarterbacks. They traded away Robbie Anderson. There's talks that they're trading away Christian McCaffrey. Everybody is kind of getting out of there. I get it. Um, we here at Pulp Fantasy, we're really lucky to get you an exclusive look at what it's been like in the Panthers office these past few weeks. So let's take a peek. First of all, I love it. Quick, quick question though. Am I panicked about the fire? Or am I being brave for everyone else? The fire. It, it's, it's a fire sale. Oh, <laughs> okay, I didn't, um, well, let's give it a shot. Oh my God, we're having a fire sale. Oh, the burning, it burns me. Evacuate all the school children. Oh, oh me, this isn't a fever. Sing, Greg. Can't even see where the knob is. And scene. What were we thinking? <laughs> so what are you doing now? He's oh. uh, casting my commercial. Yeah, trying to. Mm. The South Coast Boutique is having a fire sale. South Coast Boutique? Mm -hmm. They're having a fire sale? I guess we can all hope that once Baker Mayfield gets back, this team will get a little bit better and that they will, as they say, let Baker bake. And there you have it. Another episode of Pulp Fantasy. I'm Scott Rainier. You can find me on Twitter at MunderDifflinFF. I'm Trash Sandwiches. You can find me on Twitter at Trash Sandwiches. This was a production of In Between Media. Like and subscribe on YouTube. And good luck in your games in week seven. We have a lot of fun here, whether we're winning, whether we're losing, or we're, whether we're getting a ball punted into our ass. I don't know. This is, this is risky. Oh my goodness, blocked indeed. Oh my god.